Okay, another uh, round of questions that Eric and I get quite often are uh, in regards to the range setup we have, you know, the kind of steel we use, um, how we built the uh, target sands, that kind of thing. So uh, we're going to show you a few close-ups of what we got set up here and explain in detail what kind of steel we use and where we got it from. Okay, this is one of the two large plates that we shoot out here at the range. This is a uh, 3 8 inch thick, 16 inch round AR500 steel gong. Um, it and his brother came from Arnson Targets. I'll be sure to have Eric post a link to uh, it and the other company that we've done business with. Um, basically, this is secured to the railroad tie up top using a uh, grade 70 transport chain and some grade 8 fasteners and washers and nuts on the back side. Um, now, all the steel that we shoot out here is AR500. Um, basically, you can shoot just about anything at it, including 50 cal from reasonable ranges. Uh, we found that 400 meters was a little bit too close to be shooting the plate with 50 cal. And uh, I might show you the effect of that, you know, when we go up the hill. Okay, these are the uh, smaller plates that we shoot down on the uh, bottom berm here. Uh, these are 3 8 inch AR500 steel as well. These are 8 inch in diameter. And uh, these came from Wideners, these five here. Um, basically the same style of plate, two holes torched in each one. Uh, grade 8 fasteners hanging the plates on grade 70, 3 8 inch thick transport chain. Okay, so you can see on the back side here that we have um, some screw eyes holding the chain in place with a small clevis pin. And then we're just using a grade 8 washer and nylon lock nut to secure the uh, chain to the plate using a grade 8 bolt. Um, we'll move on up the hill to the 400 meter berm and we'll check that one out. Uh, this is the one we built back in January. Uh, what we basically have here is a trap of railroad ties and then we had a full dump truck load of fill dirt brought in built up the berm on the back side to about six feet. Um, we have two two by six boards here, pressure treated, laminated together to support the 16 inch plate. This is the other large plate that we shoot. Um, the same 3 8 AR500 steel, 16 inches wide, secured with the same transport chain, bolts and such, eye bolts on the back side. And then we've just got this board right here secured to the ties with a couple of long lag screws. So. It's been holding up pretty well up here. Okay, so this is a bench top view from up in the trees here at 220 yards. Uh, from this distance you can see the small trap at 100 and then you can see the uh, plates and such down there at the bottom. That's about 220 yards. So we're going to move on up to the uh, 400 meter mark and I'll show you the setup from up there. Okay, so we're up at the uh, 400 meter mark here at the other shooting bench. Uh, Pretty cut and dry, shooting bench, shooter, 400 meters. So pretty much concludes the uh, tour of the range here. So I hope this has been informative for you guys who were curious about what kind of setup we used here. Um, so until next time, talk to you later.